is just around the corner. Many folks may be thinking about getting out and about taking a bike ride. David Green from Green and Phillips is here to talk about stay safe, how to stay safe while on your bike. So David, let's start with what are the legal rights that bicyclists have on the road? Well, it's a great question. A lot of people think that you should stay actually on the sidewalk and that is not the rule. The rule mm. is you should be in the roadway, but you should be about three feet inside of the fog line, making sure that you're on the roadway and not on the sidewalk while pe where pedestrians will be walking. All right, so just to make it clear then, so bicycles, cars, they share the same roadway. Absolutely correct. All right, so with that in mind, how much room does a car need to leave a bicyclist while passing? Well, it's about three feet. Mm -hmm. There's a, a city ordinance in Mobile that talks about this, but you should really give them about three feet. Actually, you should really give them wider if at all possible, but really watch these bicyclists and make sure that you are, because they're smaller, you're not yeah. going to see them as easily, and, and make sure you keep a lookout for them. So as wide as you can while staying in your lane, but the rule is generally three feet. That's that's correct. All right. So what can a bicyclist do to increase their safety? Say they want to take one of those nighttime bike rides. Well, very important to make sure you're lit up. Make sure that you wear something that's visible, that's reflective, any types of lights on your bike. Make sure that you do that. So do you actually see these types of cases frequently where it's a car versus a bike? Well, absolutely. This happens and, and, and every time it does happen, it's a major, major injury. We've got several of these accidents uh, that we're working right now. Uh, actually, a local guy that's a very good friend of mine, a neighbor of mine was struck. Mm. Uh, very serious injuries and we're actually working that case up now. So it does happen. You need to make sure that you seek, seek treatment, talk to the authorities and see a doctor. All right, so if the folks at home who are watching right now have a question, how can they contact y'all at Green and Phillips? It's very simply 300, 2000 or come by 51 North Florida Street. You never need an appointment at Green and Phillips. All right, thanks a lot, David. Thanks for inviting me over.